Welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft Tech It. I am Microbial Titan. Hi guys. It's raining wood. Alright, um, what we're going to do today is I have dug out another part of the house. We have an add-on. It's here. This is going to be my equipment room where I build stuff and get it running and eventually we're going to have like a hole up there and it's going to have wiring coming down and we're going to have a solar grid so but for right now we're going to have to run it off of redstone engines or something like that uh, like I have in one of my other worlds so what I wanted to build today is I wanted to build a pulverizer pulverizer takes every anything we put into it and crushes it down to dust okay just about anything it won't do dirt or anything like that but it, um believe it does do sand. I don't actually know. It does cobblestone, turns cobble into sand and flint um, and slag, I believe. But we need to make it. So let's go ahead and see if we have the stuff to do so with. If not, we're going to have to run and go get some sand so we can make some glass. Let's see, glass is going to. Nope, not there. Glasses. Nope, glass isn't there either. Where did I put my... I could have swore I put... It, yep, there we go. It's in a little chest. Alright, so we need glass. We need cobble. We need planks. And you know, I'll go ahead and take that too, just in case. Uh, we're going to need... What else? What else? What else? We're going to need some iron, which is here. We're going to need some copper, which is there. Uh, we're also going to need some the redstone we collected in the last episode which is there and I think that's it so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our other crafting table back here we'll put it down here at the end of these furnaces and let's go ahead and start getting it built uh, we need a machine frame which is four glass four iron and a gold and the gold is right there so Go gold, four glass, four iron, and this way we can kind of stretch out the um, stuff that we have, the ores that we collect, and make them go a little bit further. Um, I want to go ahead and show you all how to build this now, because later on I'm actually going to build some more off camera, so that we can jack with that or we don't have to jack with that during the recordings but we also need pistons so pistons we need that we need two cobble here we need a redstone there and an iron ingot there okay and we're actually going to need a couple of those so because we're going to need to um, build some redstone furnaces as, or redstone engines as well so we'll have redstone furnaces, engines, a uh, bunch of other stuff uh, so that we can go ahead and do all kinds of different builds. And we need that there. We need two flint. Oh, come on, drop it. Machine frame, two copper, and where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah redstone coil. Take our pulverizer. We're going to put it, we're going to just put it there in the corner for right now. So now we need some way to power it. So what we need, redstone engine. That's three pieces of wood, two wooden gears, a piston, and a piece of glass. So we need two wooden gears. So let's go ahead and put those there. We need a piston, a piece of glass, and three wooden planks. Now for a coal engine, or a sterling engine, it's pretty much the same thing. And we're going to need some wire so we can go ahead and get this wired up here. Wire, let's see. Um, you know, I think we'll do 
glass fiber cable if we have the stuff for it. Oops, there we go. Full screen mode. Glass fiber cable. The diamond, two redstone, and six pieces of glass gives us four. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. We found enough diamonds, we can go ahead and make a few of those. So, two of those, two diamonds. There we go, that'll give us eight of them. And we can go ahead and use those to power this. And we'll put our... <gasps> it didn't work! So apparently, glass fiber cable is not going to run that. <laughs> so, so, what we need to do instead is we'll take... Hmm, I think that's the right recipe. We also need... That's stuff that I need to smelt, but I want to pulverize it instead. Do I have any rubber? I could have swore that I had some rubber. No. No. Ah, there we go. Rubber. So we'll try this recipe. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Copper cables. Copper cables will work for right now. Go ahead and put one there. Let's go ahead and take out that redstone engine and we'll put it back and see if that works. As you can see, I made a couple of tools. I need to make me a wrench too. That should be. One, two, three, and then one. No, okay. Wrench. Ah, stone gear. That's what it is. Okay, so for a stone gear, you don't go to your furnace, unless you're a dork like I am. Um, what you do, where'd my sticks go? Could have swore I just picked those. Ah, there we go. Okay, one, two, three, four. Grab the wooden gear, put it there. One, two, three, four. Stone gear. And one, two, three. There we go. Now we have our wrench. Really, it's not... <coughs> my goodness. Um, let's try placing it again with the copper cable there. No. Um, still not going to work. Okay. You got to have a pickaxe to remove these because if not, they will just disappear. So let's try just placing it directly on. There we go. Okay, and now we also need a lever of some kind. So, and that is, ah, I know exactly what that is. That's one stick, one piece of cobble. And if that's not it, it's that way. There we go. Oh, let's grab the lever. Put the lever up here. Flip the switch. There we go. Now that's going to start pulverizing, or start powering up the pulverizer. And we're going to take our iron, and we're going to put it in the pulverizer. Now, the redstone furnaces, or redstone engines, they don't power very fast. They're not very efficient. So what we can, what we can do while we're waiting on that one is... No, not sterling. Yeah, sterling. I just spelled it wrong. Okay, three cobble, a piston, two stone gears, and a piece of glass. 
So we need that. We need two stone gears. Piston, piece of glass, and then one, two, three. There we go. If you can't tell, I've made a bunch of these. And we'll go ahead and place that there. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get rid of that lever, and we'll place it there. Turn it on. Now let's go ahead and. Eh. I'll just use wood. Uh, we'll take that wood, place it in there, and let's see, do we have any more in this furnace? Ah, yes, we have more coal there. We'll put this coal as a backup. We'll hold on to it. So let's see what we got here. Let's go and check the configuration. We want that to be yellow. So we want to make sure it's pulling plenty of power. Okay. And it's pulling power from both of those. That redstone engine will start working faster. And with each pump, it pumps out one Minecraft jewel. So give me just a moment. My phone's ringing. Now we'll be back once we've actually made something. Everybody, we're back. Now let's take a look at our progress. Now, if you're wondering what this little yellow thing is here, this is byproducts of the pulverizing. With iron, the byproduct of it, I believe, is silver. Whenever it's being smelted, um, one, there's about a 20% chance of actually getting something from that. But we'll go ahead and take these eight iron dusts, bring them over here, toss them in a furnace, and you'll see what you get from each iron dust. And if you kept count for those eight, it only pulverized four iron. So it gave, gave us two for each one, and then once you smelt it, you get one for each piece of dust, which is awesome. So I'm going to be using this pulverizer a lot so we can go ahead and spread out our resources. Now it doesn't work when you smelt ingots, because the ingots themselves only give you one ingot in the pulverizer. So it's kind of kind of worthless really to smelt an ingot or smelt a or pulverize an ingot unless you actually need the pulverized material. Now I'm going to go ahead and take those out for right now so that it can go ahead and build up some more power so it can pulverize these a little bit faster. And some other stuff that we need you know, the engines do really well. Um, we're also going to need, let's see, that copper cable didn't really do it for that redstone engine. It didn't really connect to it. And the glass fiber cable is pretty expensive. It's worth it, but it's pretty expensive. But one thing that we do need is we need a tinker table. The tinker table is a crafting table for the power suit. So we're going to take a look and see what all we need to craft a tinker. Oh, we need an emerald. An emerald is something we don't have yet. Looks like we do have everything else. We just don't have an emerald. So the tinker table is just going to have to wait. And I wanted to do the tinker table because I wanted to do a power tool. The power tool, you can add all different kind of stuff to it. Um, you can add a shovel, an axe, a hoe. You can add um, every tool in your arsenal, really. Every tool that you need for farming, for mining, for crafting, everything. Um, and it doesn't wear out, which is really awesome. It does require a battery. But the, the um, power tool, or power fist, as it's called in TechIt, while it does require a battery, the battery is really moot because it doesn't really need it uh, because it doesn't really use any juice from it. You can just barely charge it and it'll just keep going and going, which is really awesome. You know, I need a sword. I don't have a sword. So, 
we're going to go ahead and make us a sword real quick. I'm going to go ahead and organize my inventory a little bit. Let's go ahead and make that into some more planks. And then we'll go and check on our sterling engine. When it starts lighting up like that, or you're getting the little red dots around it, that means it usually means that it's out of fuel. Or it's out of whatever it is that you're trying to work with. So, it doesn't look like it's building up power very fast. Although that has turned green. Once it turn it'll turn orange and then red, and it'll start pulverizing faster. But we do need to farm. We do need to get some other stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick while that pulverizer is working. And this is typically stuff that I do off camera, but what I would like to do is I would like to actually make Oh my good! I should cut my sugar, darn it, cut my sugar cane down. I definitely did not want to do that. Um, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually make an automatic wheat farm. And what the automatic wheat farm does is we'll actually have water running. We'll have a little, uh, have some pistons to hold it, hold it back. We throw a switch. It washes the wheat all the way across the plants washes seeds and everything down to a trough at the end and you can just walk right down to the trough and pick it up and you're done and I've built those before in regular Minecraft on worlds that I was playing with my kids and when I say regular I mean um, Xbox 360 um, play, use those on worlds that I play with my kids and they turn out really well and it works really well too now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and utilize the water that's here. So what we need to do is we need to make some pistons. So let's go ahead and come back here. And I know we're going to need some more iron. So we're going to pull the eight out that we got there. And we're going to put those there. We're going to put our stone there. And let's see how many of these we can make. looks like nine is going to be our magic number with the materials that we have on hand. So we have that. We're going to need let's see some gravel. And I believe that's it. Actually, no, that's not it because we need to actually lower that down some if we're going to use the existing water. So I don't think we're actually going to do that. I think I'm actually going to build something right here. I'll continue to use this as my fishing pond because if you notice in my inventory I have some fish. And what we'll do, I'm going to need that. And let's see. <coughs> ah, dirt. Dirt will work. We need to put the dirt down here. We need to, let's see, so we're going to need gravel, we're going to need pistons, we're going to need dirt, we've got the redstone, we're going to need another lever, uh, which I'll need to get some more stone for that here in a little bit. Um, go ahead and keep our seeds, put the wrench up there, we don't need it, don't need that, don't need that, not down there anyway. And tell you what, let's go ahead and get this built. So, there's that. Now we're going to need a back so we can hold the water in. And let's see. So there's that. We're going to go ahead and make our frame. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. That's fine there. So we're going to have our water trough here. This is going to be where our um, pistons are. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that for right now. So water trough piston one two three. Water travels four spaces. So five. we 
go. kind of doing the outline and dirt for right now so this is actually going to all be gravel so let me dig this up here and we're going to need to dig down one two and actually th three spots Then we're going to dig, yeah, there, that'll work. Two, three, four, five, because we got to have a place for our redstone. So one, darn it. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to dig this out two. to be able to get back up. Three, four, five. Gravel. One, two, three, four. The reason I'm using gravel, you can use gravel or sand. And we're going to have to use two pieces of gravel. Because once we throw our switch, that's actually going to activate it. Uh, we're going to keep our switch thrown the entire time. And we need one more piece of redstone there. Need a way to get out here. And I just washed a... I'm such a noob. I'm such a dork. Alright, um, let's see. There we go. Seal that water off. Go back and grab all my redstone. There we go. So let's see. And we're going to put our lever there. We need to place our dirt there. There we go. All right. Looks like we've got everything set just about so we need to take the I did not bring the hoe with me I'm just unprepared for this so let's go ahead and grab it out of the box and we're also going to need from our mob drop chest our buckets uh, we don't need any more dirt. So we can keep that there. Grab those seeds. Go ahead and fix that because we don't need it there anymore. Grab that seed. And we need to grab our lever. So we need to grab the piece of stone or cobblestone. go ahead and we know the sticks at the top we know that's there grab our lever grab our extra sticks run back over here place the lever down ever so gently Kablamarcus I'm going to throw the switch which did not raise up all of my snow what happened there oh I missed one there we go. So let's see. Goodness. This is more work than I thought it'd be. I usually have all this stuff planned out. Okay, so we've got all that there. Now we grab our buckets. And grab our buckets. Place one water there. 
one water three away and one water two away. So now that's all made itself. Now let's go ahead and give me just a moment and get in a phone. Okay guys, sorry about that. No more phone calls, I promise. On this episode anyway. So we need to go ahead and oh my my hoe ran out. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff planted. What we can anyway. And the way this works is once I throw that switch that we put down right there, then what it does, it drops those. They wash over. Everything washes down. And actually should wash down into this ditch here and we just come along and pick it right up so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that open so we can just walk right into it but since I don't want any zombies walking in here we're gonna go ahead and block all this off and I definitely don't want any creepers walking in and blowing it up and considering it's night time, it's probably not the best time to be finishing this up. But we're going to do it anyway. Let's take that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some... Okay, well I was going to put some torches in here. <coughs> I will light this thing up later. And I'm going to put also put a glass roof on it. So that we don't have to worry about anything getting into it. And then what we'll do here is we'll actually, oh, no, wrong kind of seat. Need the flax seat. Is we will actually make this automatic as well. But that's done a different way. So we will work on that at another time. So before I go to bed, I just want to say that this is Microbial Titan signing out from another episode of Tech at Light. If you like this episode, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. If you want to see more from me on my Tech at or Tech at Light series. Um, and if you want to post a comment, please leave a comment. Just remember my kids do watch these and read the comments. So try not to leave anything vulgar or bad um, so that they're not picking up any words that they don't need to, need to be saying. So until then, everybody have a great night and I am going to bed. Bye.